free body diagrams. What we want to do is discuss what you need to do. So first note, Okay, so we're going to figure out where all the forces are, and then we're going to uh, use them to s identify all the parts and pieces of the uh, problem. Okay, so let me give you an example to start with here. Let's do, um, eh, we'll do a rock. Okay, and someone's trying to pull that rock out, so we got a rope on there, but we also have this rock that has some sort of weight to it all right and we got some force being pulled to the right in this picture and that is going to be part of what we have to deal with to uh, understand that but a simple free body diagram would be this drawn down with an arrow and then drawn with this as a force and as the weight and then we can actually deal with the uh, you know, the parts and pieces of where all that's coming from. So basically, just general physics. Okay. So a couple things that need to get defined first for you is we're going to see problems that look like this. And there's going to be a member that comes down like this and comes up and I'm going to cut that off there but we're going to have forces on this if I put a um, force here let's draw that a little nicer if I put a little force there then we're going to have parts and pieces acting down here on this one and what we're going to wind up with is this is our interest point and it's going to be that and we're going to have a force. Um, no, I'm sorry. I want to do that a little differently because if I do that with that, we're going to wind up with a moment. I don't want to get to a moment yet. Let's do this. If I put a and I apply a force to the center of that, there we go. Okay, and we got some angle theta with this. What I'm really interested in is not the box. I'm interested in what that force is doing at that point. Relative to coordinate system, that would be x, x, y, y. But I could have a x prime y prime coordinate system on this so it depends on where you're <laughs> referencing things from but we're not so much interested in the engineering sketch as we are the free body diagram okay or F B D so might as well get used to that you're gonna see that quite a bit <clears throat> so literally it's knowing where that force is going and what it's doing and how it breaks down so if I take this into that little point right there we're gonna get a force in the X direction we're going to get a force in the y direction and all that's the components of this force up here so if I take the original force and I put it there then we're going to see the components working on that part and we'll be able to do that so the ones we're really kind of interested at this point would have been this one and this one to help with the statics problem okay so that's uh, simple things about 
what a free body diagram is. Now let's put some rules down here. So procedures. In this case, I'm going to do it with what I was going to do earlier. So that's your engineering sketch, okay? Um, and then the next part of this is draw. point of interest free from other surfaces okay so my point of interest in this one would be that little pin right there that's what I want to see what's being worked on okay so that would just be that okay and then three show all forces acting on that So in this case, I'm going to be looking at a force here, f of x, and a force here, f of y. Okay, <clears throat> and we're going to play with that and see what happens. Okay, and there'll be more to it, and it's not as simple as that, but it'll give you a general idea of what we're doing. Okay, so show all the forces. A um, couple sub notes under this one. Um, label forces. Uh, we need to know what are active forces, and those are the ones that are. set motion to the object and we want to know which ones are reactive consistent here, reactive. Um, forces that are caused by the active forces. Okay, so for this one, if I was to draw a reactive force, knowing those two go there, it would be something like this. Okay, those two forces, F and Y, are going to push on that point, and it's going to cause this thing to move in that direction. And we'll go through all that stuff to sort out the uh, how to find the reactions and that sort of stuff, but 
generally that's what we're up to. Um, and I guess it's not so much a note, but I'm going to put it in here. Um, is Okay, carefully look for all the forces, um, and that would be useful. Okay, uh, let's see, what do I want to do now? Let's do it this way. Let's do a car, and this will not be the prettiest car you ever saw, but let's do a car. Like so. And it's going to be stuck in the mud, and we're going to label this as the x-axis and we're going to label this as the y-axis okay I'm interested in this point right there and I can have a force that goes this way and we'll make this one 30 degrees in here and we could have another one going this way, force 2 equal to 2 kilonewtons, and that's 25 degrees. Okay, so when we drew the free body diagram for this one, so the FBD is really this there, X. Y, and we are looking at a force there. We got 30 degrees in here, and we got down here. I guess we should come off that circle, that dot. We're 25 degrees there. That's F2. Okay. So that's really our free body diagram. That's what we're interested in. And now from there, we can go do all the engineering we got to do. That's a simple look at what a free body diagram is in the simplest forms and how to draw it. And you're going to be expected to um, draw them on a regular basis. So uh, you'll have plenty of practice.